what can you adapt adapt from what you do in the studio to what you do in the DJ booth? What what things from production kind of also come into play when you're DJing? Well, the things that come into play when I DJ is, you know, when I'm DJing, I don't I don't consider it DJing. I consider it making beats with other people's beats. You know, so it's just like a a big collage, and it's research for me. Like when I'm DJ and I'm doing research, seeing what people like, mm -hmm. and know what to do in the studio when I'm making songs. So for me, it's like a big it's research, and it's like fun. You know, it's like I'm really having fun. I haven't had this much fun since I was in high school when I wanted to rap. Like I used to write raps to write raps. Not to make songs, but like, yo, check out my lyric. Ooh, check this out. And now it's like that again. It's like, wow, I haven't been this excited and enthused and passionate just to want to go out like, yo, it's like 100 people out there. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yo, they want you to DJ at this one spot. Where is it at? You got to fly all the way out to such and such. You know, fuck it. Right? I, it's fun to me, you know? It's like, it's fucking fun. A lot of times I fuck up too. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? How does it compare to you know stadiums and massive, crazy, high-profile tours? Oh, so we just got. That's a good question. In in LA, we open up for U2, right? Right. A big fucking big. It's the biggest of the biggest. It's like U2. All the press in the world is there. MTV, fucking E. ETV, like everybody, CNN, everybody's there. Like 90,000 people. And that same night, I had a DJ set at the, uh, at the old Avalon mm -hmm. on Vine. And I was m more excited for the DJ set because it's a, you know, of course I'm excited for the, you know, you're rocking with you too. But I just have made some beats mm -hmm. that I wanted to play at the DJ set. You know, because like when people, you know, you would think when there's 90,000 people, it's like, ooh, but really, you can't really see all the people. But when you have a DJ set, it's like 200 people in the house and it's packed, it's intimate. You get to see every single person in the house. Mm -hmm. And you get to, you know, you get to see like face, facial expressions and see if they like that shit. A lot of times you see motherfuckers like, Right, and you gotta switch it up right quick. You know that was, you know, just just to show you like, in my world it goes from here to there, but to me it's all the same. It's all fun, you know. I, I'm I'm really having a fun time right now. Do you shop on Beatport for tracks? How do you find uh, more tracky dance music type of stuff? Uh, I chat online, yeah. you know, on my buddy list. Yeah. You know, Chucky would be like, Yo, what's up? You check out this shit I just did. Or and I'll send Chucky shit. Chucky send me stuff. Um, email cats would email me stuff. Um, What's your favorite producer right now from a dance genre thing? My favorite guy right now. Uh, it, it would be it would be Chucky. Yeah. 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 And and the Bloody Beat Roots. What do you like about that? Bloody Beat Roots. Yeah. It's like borderline riot. Right. It's like. It's aggressive, it's like, uh, it's hard, mm. especially that Warp song, Steve Aoki, Bully Beat Root song. <laughs> I mean, it's not sexy or anything like that, but it's just like, Raw. that shit makes me want to, I don't know what I want, it's like the kind of beat that makes you, I don't know, I just want to like shake somebody. I'm not even violent, right? I'm like the, the least violent cat. I never been in a fight and shit, but that fucking song, like if a dude got me pissed off and I was listening to that beat, Go for it. I just like, ah, that song is nice. I love that shit. What's this crowd in for tonight at Pasha out there waiting for you? I, I gotta see. I haven't seen that. You don't know? Yet. You gotta take a look first? I gotta see what it is. See how I mean? The ratio of the girls, the guys. <laughs> see what the girls. What say, they, say, it, say it's 80 20 girls, guys. I gotta see what kind of shoes the girls have on. <laughs> I swear to you. Say it's trainers. If the girls, if your girls wearing trainers, then it all depends because the shoes show you what type of sexy the girl is. Okay. Right. So you got, I gotta see the crowd, look at the shoes, 
Okay. Look to see if the girls are chilling with bonehead guys. Because if there's a Probably, whole bunch of yes. sexy chicks and they got corny guys next to them, yeah. then you know what kind of records they play. What yeah. kind of records do you play? What? What do you play? Uh, you, <laughs> you, you just got to read the crowd. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Tricks of the yeah. trade. Oh, that chick is hot. Damn, that dude is corny. <laughs> Not that I be looking at dudes and shit, but you know what I'm saying? It's like that always cornball dude, like... We've got none of those here at Pasha. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You yes, know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Right. And the guy's like, <laughs> mad corny. Like, he's like... <laughs> and the girls are like, mm, right? Why do they do that? I always wanted to know that. Hot chicks. Why y'all hang out with, like, cornball guys? And they'd be, like, hottest girls. Like, the hottest ones. Like, damn, she's, like, hot, hot. Mega, 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 mega. And, like, dude's like... <laughs> but that's... But you don't get that, like, when I... In, like, Pasha and Ibiza... It's my first time Pasha in New York. Pasha and Ibiza, you, there's very rare cornballs. Mm. There's not that many cornballs. Mm -hmm. well, on Thursday nights at David's Club. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm not lying. Not that I'd be looking at dudes. I don't be looking at dudes to see if dudes is cool or not. i just be looking to see what kind of chicks cornballs be with to see if, you know, you know, like, mm. you don't want to, like, talk to a girl and she's with a cornball dude and that dude, like, gets all violent. You know what I mean? The, a, a guy that's not cornball is inviting and like, come hang out at our table. This, you know, this is this he's is confident. Fun. Yeah, he's confident. He's not a lot like, stop looking at my girl, right? Shit like that. Like, hey man, like you don't want that shit. So ladies, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave your comments underneath the video of why you hang out with cornball dudes. We'll try to enter website. Which There's one? This website called. Uh, um. Yes. I can't think of what it's called. Hot Chicks with Douchebags? Yes, Hot Chicks with Douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that website is fucking crazy, though. Because it's like exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. It's like Hot Chicks, Douchebag Dude. It's true. Thousands of pictures. Check it out. I would hate one day that I was with some Hot Chicks and I was one of the Douchebag Dudes. I would be like, gosh, I'm a douchebag now. <laughs>